Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to talk about metamorphic rocks. So what metamorphic rock is one of the three different types of rocks. We had igneous, sedimentary, and now metamorphic. So metamorphic rock is really any rock that forms from another rock as a result of either heat or pressure. Meaning this, igneous rock can change into metamorphic rock. Um, sedimentary rock can change into metamorphic rock and metamorphic rock can change to other metamorphic rock and it, it's all based on heat and pressure okay so how are they formed so a couple things they can form again from igneous or sedimentary or other metamorphic rock uh, lots of times they're near mountains or large masses of igneous rock and the reason why they're near mountains lots of times is because what happens is when the plates of the earth move and one goes under the other or they push against each other um, that's great pressure and that great pressure forces and makes a mountain and lots of times because of that great pressure it changes rock into metamorphic rock heat can also change rock into metamorphic rock that's like magma so magma can rise through the crust and it's extremely hot and it can change any type of rock igneous uh, rock or sedimentary rock through that heat it changes the crystals and the minerals and it forms metamorphic rock um, collisions in the earth's place like I said before can cause great heat and pressure um, and it also can create heat in the mantle the mantle is uh, in between the crust and the core of the earth so I'll just draw a real quick picture if this is the earth here um, and that is the crust this is the core let's say right here and then in between is the mantle so that would be the mantle all right next um, uh, so I said high pressure can change rock plate collisions causes great pressure also which we talked about are the mountains so the plates on the earth um, they slide next to each other and they can push against each other and, and that's great pressure deep inside the crust there's uh, much more pressure so if you think about this if you are um, in a swimming pool and if you go the deeper you go the more pressure it is the more pressure the deeper the more pressure which means then um, uh, the, the, like in the crust if you go deeper in the crust it's more pressure so it's just like if you're in a swimming pool so under pressure and heat, the minerals in rocks do change, and they change into other minerals, which then creates different types of rock. Okay, so how are they classified? So they're classified in a couple ways. Um, so intense heat changes the size and shape of grains or the mineral crystals. So grains, that's really important. The grains may line up in flat parallel lines. So they could be in parallel lines like, oops, sorry, like this parallel lines so they're kind of like parallel to each other uh, they could line up like that geologists classify metamorphic rocks by the arrangement of these grains so they're either going to be foliated or non foliated so foliated is what I just drew here these are like nice straight not necessarily straight but they're in layers and they're um, flat uh, parallel layers um, they're thin and flat and granite flattened into nice shale to slate so granite changes and granite can change into nice and when it changes into nice it's nice um, uh, flat layers shale can change into slate and slate will have nice flat uh, layers okay let me just move this up a little bit but what happens is like granite which is right here through heat and pressure will change into nice and if you look at nice if you look carefully you'll see that it is foliated because it has different layers here quartzite through sandstone uh, through great pressure changes into quartzite now quartzite is non foliated and it minerals are arranged randomly so if you look at this they're kind of arranged randomly Quartzite is extremely hard, and again, it forms from sandstone and also quartz, and it looks nice and smooth. Marble is created from limestone, so limestone through heat and pressure will create marble. So marble, quartzite, and gneiss are all different types of metamorphic rocks. All right, next. Uh, oops. All right, so let's move on. Next. Um, I have a couple pictures here. This is slate, is a metamorphic rock, and slate is very 
um, you can see that it is foliated and the reason why you can see all the different layers here slate's very good uh, it cleaves really nice and it's also very good for using as a building material for like roofs a lot of roofs use slate uh, this is nice and you can see the layers in nice right here okay okay so how are metamorphic rocks used marble is even grain it can be cut into slabs or carved um, it's easy to polish it's used for statues and or buildings so you can see the tower of pisa there uh, leaning tower of pisa that was created using marble slate is foliated it can cut into flat pieces uh, it's really good for roofing like i told you walkways trim and for stone buildings so they're very good metamorphic rock are great for building supplies okay so what i want you to do today is make sure that you read the online book uh, do the activities and then tomorrow you do have a nearpod make sure when you do the nearpod that you're answering the questions and going through all the different slides i have some pretty cool websites and videos for you to check out too all right boys and girls have a great day